Good morning. Can't believe it's December 31st and it's 40 something degrees. Oh man. Last year at this time we were still still had feet of snow after 40 something 42, 43 inch snowfall in mid-December. So back in November, about mid-November, very close to Thanksgiving, the Craigslist alert popped up for an old town pack for sale. And so it happened to be literally 10 minutes from my house. I hopped on the opportunity and I was able to secure it. And uh, this is what I'm testing out today. First time in the boat here on a small lake by my home. Like I said, a little foggy out today, but uh, I'll take it. No snow, that's, that's the good thing. Not gonna go too far. There's some ice still on the on the lake here. I can see it off in the distance in the fog, and there's even some off to my right. But I just wanted to get out for a little bit, try out this pack. I paddled it before. I used to have one before I sold it, which I highly regretted. And but uh, yeah. lake still got a probably half of the ice on it thin coating but nonetheless half the ice I don't know how much longer the ice will actually be here because today despite all the fog and gloom it's supposed to get up to like a high of like 50 or 52 it's crazy I can't believe it but uh, hey I'll take it one more paddling day in 2021. Here we'll, uh, the ice is just off to my left here. So I'll go over and check it out. It's funny this uh this whole town pack here is it's pretty wide compared to the, my other canoes that I have that are a lot narrower like <clears throat> my hemlock paragon I think it's like 25 inches wide at most this, I think this is over 30 I think this is uh, for some reason 33 sticks in my head but I could be wrong and it's real short and squirrely compared to like uh, like I said my other canoes this is my shortest boat. The others are 14. I have two 14s, pack canoes, and I have a uh, the Headlock Peregrine, which is I think 15 feet 9 inches. And I just picked up the North Star Northwind Solo, 15 feet. But I wanted a pack just because. They're uh, pretty much indestructible. You can bounce them off rocks. Now you really have to worry about it. It's just fun to paddle. <clears throat> I will admit, though, it does paddle better with a double blade than a single blade. But I like the single blade better. That's just me. My most simple theory. carry both types of paddles with me. If I need to make time or it's super windy, the double blade does come in handy. I wish you all a uh, happy and healthy new year. Thanks for watching my videos over the course of 2021. And I hope to get up to back up to the Adirondacks this spring. And I don't know what this winter is going to hold for me for any other adventures. I might have to have some knee surgery. So we're going to take it a day at a time. And again, thank you for watching. Happy New Year to you, your family, friends. Cheers, everybody.